The new novel that's casting a spell, Family Lore, tells the tale of one Dominican-American family, and it's the August pick from our GMA Book Club, and its author, Elizabeth Acevedo, joins us live. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. And Welcome. telling us all about your book. We're so happy to have you. For people who might not be familiar with your writing, you say that Family Lore sticks with the themes that you're already known for. Right. I write a lot about mothers and daughters. I write about the ways that we may be taught to uh, not connect with our bodies and how we can learn to reconnect. And I'm really interested in just talking about love and love as a practice, not love as a feeling. Ooh, Ooh I like, like that. that. Yes, as a verb. Yeah. Uh, you say that this book is personal to you and you had to get your family's permission to fictionalize your family history. How has magic played a role in your own family lore? I don't know if it's because I'm from the Caribbean, but magic is an everyday thing for us, right? I grew up, my mom would have a dream and she's like, here's what we're playing at the lotto, right? And so yeah. for me, mm -hmm. magic isn't something that's distant from us. It's, it's in how we move, it's in how we talk, and it's in you know, what happens at night when we are sleeping. Mm. So we also love partnering with Little Free Library so that we can get copies of our GMA book club picks all across the country. And this morning, one of our stewards, Marie Pank, has a question for you. Let's listen. Okay. Hi, my name is Marie, and I'm from Duluth, Minnesota. And my question is, if you could have an ability like Floors, would you want it? Okay. Marie, that is a great question. So Florida is someone who can tell whether or not you're going to die based off of what she's dreamt. Oh. I would not want that ability. It sounds wow. horrific. I yeah. think it would be so difficult to connect with people. I want minimalist magic, just a little bit. That's a great moral <laughs> quandary, though, a great question to right. consider. I don't know if I would want it either. But in any case, what do you hope that your readers take away from this book when they read it? I hope a sense of curiosity, a sense of curiosity about their own lore, about who their ancestors were, about who their families are. There's so often we don't ask the elder generation just like, who are you? What, what is your favorite memory of yourself? How are you loved? And I think it does a lot to make your own family the protagonist of, of the story, right? Uh, thank you so much for being with us. She yeah. is Elizabeth Acevedo. Her book is Family Lore. It's available now. You can start reading. Look out for Elizabeth later this month on here. On GMA, she's sitting down with our friend Stephanie Ramos. Can't wait for that. Thank you again for being here. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.